Queenstown Clinic and I run the strength and conditioning program in Heartland Rehab. So what are the most common weightlifting injuries that I see? I will just boil down to two common type of injuries, mostly muscle strains and overuse injuries. So how does a muscle strain occur? Many a times muscle strain occurs when we progress too fast too soon. Let me give you an example. This right here is your muscle strength. And if we progress too fast and the load goes more than what our body is able to handle, right here, chances of you getting a muscle strain is very high. So how do we reduce the risk of muscle strains? Many times I advise my clients to exercise at an intensity of 70 to 80 percent. Many times there is actually no need to go 100 percent or out in the gym. This is for longevity and to reduce the risk of straining your muscles. How do we measure intensity then? At 70 percent, simple guideline that I let my clients know is that they have three reps left in the tank at the end of each set. So say you are doing three sets of 10 on bench press. At the end of my 10th rep, I should feel like I still can do at least two or three reps comfortably. And I know that is about 70 to 80 percent of intensity. Next, how do we prevent overuse injuries? A simple advice will be to add rest days into your training and not to train the same group of muscles in two consecutive days. Not especially if you are not conditioned for this. If you are a beginner lifter, it is advisable for you to work within a rep range of 25 to 45 accumulated reps per week for each muscle group. It will take about 6 to 8 weeks before you see strength gains on that muscle group. And for beginner lifters, after 6 to 8 weeks is when you can increase the amount of reps or the amount of exercise that you are doing for each muscle group. I hope this simple advice will give you an insight on how to prevent injuries from weightlifting or even to start your own weightlifting program. If there are any questions, you can always drop a DM in our Instagram or contact us on our hotline. Thank you.